The number one athlete in the class of 2022 was two-way star Travis Hunter, who played wide receiver and cornerback and is now going to play at JSU in his college football career. But in this year's 2023 class, the number one athlete in the nation may be one of the best freak athletes that anyone has seen recently in any recruiting class, and it's none other than Nicholas Harbour. He stands in at 6'5", 225 pounds. He has over 40 plus offers, is an animal on both sides of the field, and is one of the best track stars in the nation in the 100 meter and 200 meter. In today's video, I am gonna be talking about Nicholas Harbour, his story, his high school football career up to this point, his college football recruitment, and what he could be on the collegiate level. Now, before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. Nicholas Harbour was born in a family of athletes, as his father was a professional soccer player in Nigeria and the United States during the 1980s and the 1990s, and his older brother currently plays professional basketball in France. Now you may be thinking that Harbour must have been some kind of football star when he was growing up, and that was one of his main focuses, but that's not quite the case. As Harbour's main focus growing up, right at the age of 11, was actually track and field. Unsurprisingly, he would quickly become a top sprinter in track, even when he was a lot younger. He wouldn't really grow attached to football until he got to high school. Even though it may seem like, considering Nicholas Harbour is one of the best athletes in the nation right now in high school football, a five-star recruit in the class of 2023, he didn't necessarily take off immediately at Archbishop Central as he only now played his first season of high school football in this previous 2021 campaign where he appeared in 12 games. All the seasons before that, it was shortened seasons due to various factors. Despite not really having full seasons of high school football before 2021, Nicholas Harbour was still viewed as a top player in the class, according to 24-7 Sports. As going into his junior campaign, he was a four-star recruit and a top 100 player in the nation, and it was mainly because of potential. I mean, you don't see 6'5", 225-pound kids that run 10 to 9 100-meter dashes every day. And that's someone that's going to be ranked high no matter what, especially with someone of his skill set. And he did not disappoint in his first full season of high school football at Archbishop Central as he would record 44 tackles, 17 sacks, 6 forced fumbles, and 3 fumble recoveries. On the offensive side of the ball, he had 16 receptions for 290 yards and 5 receiving touchdowns. Overall, a really good season. After showing people what he can do in a full season in his junior campaign, his recruitment would not only skyrocket even more, but he finally became a five-star recruit. There's not many high school athletes out there built like Nicholas Harbour in high school, as he's 6'5", 225 pounds, runs a 10.2900 meter dash, and a 20.79200 meter dash, which both are just absurd, especially with someone of his size. It's almost unimaginable. And with all that being said, it's no surprise that Nicholas Harbour became one of the most garnered athletes in the nation, as he has 44 total offers right now, as of the recording of this video, from some of the top schools in the nation. From Georgia, LSU, Michigan, USC, Alabama, Oklahoma, Clemson, Florida, Ohio State, Notre Dame, Oregon, Penn State, and many more. He has dropped a top seven school list that includes Michigan, USC, Miami, Maryland, Georgia, LSU, and South Carolina. And it is worth noting that Nicholas Harbour is trying to be a college football athlete and track athlete while in college. When talking about the schools in his top seven, let's first talk about Georgia, as Georgia has a great track record of not only developing edge rushers and outside linebackers, but they also told Harbour that he wouldn't have to change his body that much to play at Georgia, which is appealing knowing that he does want to run track in college. When talking about LSU, they have a very good track record 
of developing edge rushers, and they have one of the best track programs in the nation. In fact, they won the Outdoor National Championship in track in 2021. When talking about Michigan, they do have some good traits at developing edge rushers, and Nicholas Harbor is familiar with the school, as it is a great academic school, has great alumni connections, and he has a strong relationship with the coaching staff, and this is viewed as the school to beat as of right now, or is at least rumored to be. It's also worth noting that he has some family that lives in that area, and he has been to their campus a few times due to track events. When talking about Maryland, it is one of the schools that got on the Nicholas Harbor train very, very early, and of course, he is from that area, and it would be very enticing to not only play football and compete in track and field in front of all of his friends and family and representing Maryland itself. With the Miami Hurricanes, they've made a big push in his recruitment since they've had their new staff with Mario Cristobal, and they've been making a push trying to show them the aspect of the football, track and field, and academic side of things that Nicholas Harbor is looking at. With USC, it is a school that he did have some familiarity with, with the staff that was at Oklahoma and is now at USC. And they do fit the mold that Nicholas Harbor is looking at of not only a defensive scheme with football, academics, and track, as they fit all those schemes perfectly for Nicholas Harbor, as this is a spot where he fits in that speed D system for Alex Grinch. They have a good track program and, of course, great academics. And finally, talking about South Carolina, it is one of the earlier schools that also got on the Nicholas Harbor train as it was one of the first schools he actually visited over a year ago, and he absolutely loved it. He has a great bond with the entire coaching staff, and he loves South Carolina in general, especially after visiting. The only downside with South Carolina compared to some of the other programs is their track and field program, as it's not quite on the same level as the other teams involved in his recruitment. When talking about Harbor and his recruitment, it really does seem like he's getting looked at more as a defensive player, as an outside backer, an edge rusher kind of guy, than he really is as an offensive player. He is getting looked at by some schools as an offensive player, kind of as a tight end because of his build and kind of what he's capable of, but it does seem like he's more than likely going to be a defensive player on the collegiate level. And when talking about him and his defensive skills, he is someone that is physical, he has the speed, he has the size, he has all the skills, capabilities, and potential to be a future college football star and a beast overall. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below of future videos you want to see on this channel. And where do you think Nicholas Harbor will end up committing to? Before y'all head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. V. Ellie, out. Oh.